Hi, and welcome to another video from Mastering QuickBooks Online. Today we're going to go over uh, entering sales receipts and how to do uh, different payment methods with sales receipts. So we'll start out with uh, a couple different ways we can get to sales receipts. First one again, we're on our homepage. Uh, first place you can go to obviously is in the graphic, you use sales receipts. Or underneath the customer drop down or client drop down menu, we'll go to enter sales receipt. Now from here again, you'll see your sales receipt screen at the top again is the recent button. Uh, this will allow you to edit any recent sales receipts that are in there. Uh, but in our case, we're going to go in and enter a customer's name in here to get started. Uh, this time I think we'll use zero Pamela here. You'll notice when you, as soon as you fill up the customer's name in, it has a sold to. Obviously your receipt number and the date. We'll go down and put a service date in. Now if you don't have your service dates turned on, when we get to the preferences, we'll go over all the preferences so you can see how to turn that section on or off in the preferences video. I think today for the product we are going to use will be design. If we have service, it is from custom design for $10, you will see it is taxable. Down below we'll have our different uh, sections in here where you'll see your subtotal discount percentage. Now if you put up the percentage in here, yeah, you're allowed to calculate it, obviously it'll take that out for you tax and the total. Now up here you'll see a little change of the account button. These accounts, which are for your discount and your tax accounts, which you can change in here to allow you to, to uh, apply those. The discount and the tax will go to those different accounts in the charter accounts. Alrighty, now the difference between a sales receipt and the invoices down here you'll see us on a notice on the sales receipt we do have the payment information included on this one screen. Uh, in this case what we'll do then is when we're receiving the payment is we're going to get a a credit card and we'll make it Visa Oops. Visa and in this case now if you did have merchant service and want to put the credit card information in here you could okay in this case we're just going to go ahead and uh, deposit to we'll put it in our checking account and to be put it in this one we won't send now one thing I want to go over right here we want to check on previewing this sales receipt if you click on preview you'll notice you get a pop-up screen it says QuickBooks Online Plus, plus must save the sales receipt for preview. So we'll click save. Notice now it saves the sales receipt and it will give us a little pop up window here. You notice right there we get a preview our sales receipt as it is. Everything looks good, so we could actually print it right out of here and hand it to our customer or client that's right there. That concludes the sales receipt. Uh, stay tuned for our next video.